More people get vaccinated in an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. The Catholic Church is advising caution when considering one vaccine made by Johnson & Johnson. The church says that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been made using cell lines of aborted fetuses. Right now, Mod Moderna and Pfizer are the more morally acceptable options over Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca because they have been less touched by abortion directly by using fetal cell lines. Johnson & Johnson says that they maintain high bioethical standards and no fetal tissue is used in their vaccine. The Diocese of Green Bay is telling its parishioners to choose a vaccine that is the least morally compromised. We have to make sure, though, that when we produce vaccines, in our effort to save lives, we don't take lives. That's the moral dilemma. In some instances, the diocese acknowledges that there might not be an option on which vaccine you can receive from your medical provider. Many vaccines today, not all, but many, um, have in either their production or their development or their testing the use of cells that were derived from an abortion. The challenge, of course, is that many times uh, the, the connection to uh, abortion is very distant. So in other words, the abortion might have happened many, many decades ago. Catholics are weighing in. Something that concerns me, um, but I, I think that uh, personally, I do not believe in abortion. I think as a Catholic, we fundamentally believe that, at least for me, that like, you know, all life matters and that we should try to save it. And in terms of like the vaccine, that should be the least concern uh, while we are trying to fight against the coronavirus right now. In Green Bay, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. The Diocese of Green Bay says it does not advocate for the medical quality of any particular brand of vaccine.